Mr. Speaker, I thank uh, the Chairman Camp for his leadership on this bill. I thank Chairman Henserling for his leadership on the issue that I rise to speak about today. I rise to support uh, the Jobs for America Act, H.R. 4. In Virginia's 5th District, our district, there are literally thousands of jobs that exist because of private equity investments. These critical investments allow our small businesses to innovate, expand their operations, and create jobs that our communities need. Unfortunately, Dodd-Frank has placed a costly and unnecessary regulatory burden of SEC registration on advisors pr to private equity while exempting advisors to similar investment funds. These registration requirements do not improve the stability of our financial system, and they restrict the ability of private equity to invest capital in small businesses to spur job growth. Instead of complying with costly SEC registration, private equity should be encouraged to focus on investing capital in companies such as Virginia Candle, a company in our district that through private equity investment expanded from a, a garage in Lynchburg to millions of homes across the world. That is why I, along with my colleagues, Representative Cooper and Representative Himes, introduced the Small Business Capital Access and Jobs Preservation Act, a provision of H.R. 4, which previously passed the House with bipartisan support. Unfortunately, the Senate has failed to consider this and dozens of other House-passed jobs bills. At a time when unemployment in Virginia's 5th District is still too high, the Senate needs to join us immediately in acting pro-growth policies to spur job creation for our communities. I ask my colleagues to join me in supporting H.R. 4 to increase the flow of private capital to our small businesses so they can innovate, grow, and create jobs for the American people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.